Oh, it's water. I know. Yeah. There's a daddy long leg on your desk. <laughs> you have this in there. Whoa. Relationship. <laughs> Tyler and Waverly, please join hands or hand. <laughs> Tyler, under the eyes of God, do you take Waverly to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you vow to offer unconditional love and support to her as long as you shall live? <laughs> if so, say I do. I do. <laughs> Waverly, under the eyes of God, do you take Tyler to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you vow to offer unconditional love? and support him as long as you shall live. I do. The ring. Tyler and Waverly will now exchange rings. Take a moment to appreciate how the shape of these rings mirrors your commitment. Just as a circle has no beginning and no end, so too will your love for each other prove. Tyler, repeat after me. I, Tyler, give you Waverly. I, Tyler, give you Waverly. This ring as a symbol of my unwavering love. Of my unwavering love. My unwavering love. And dedication. Dedication. Everything that I am is yours. And all that you are, all that you are I, shall cherish. I shall cherish. I, Waverly, give you Tyler. This ring is a symbol of my unwavering love and dedication. Everything that I am is yours, and all that you are, I will cherish. By the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and by the state of Missouri, I happily pronounce. Tyler and Waverly to be husband and wife. Tyler, you may kiss your bride. For the people here tonight, we know them, we love them. It's the reason we're here. The bartenders. We were born exactly two weeks apart, went to preschool and kindergarten together. 
but unfortunately I got separated for eight years during elementary and middle school when I was at St. Andrews. That never stopped us though, we still managed to hang out at all times possible. We were inseparable. Growing up, the Irie House was a place to be after school, on the weekends, or even if you just wanted to stop by. We spent days there playing ghosts in the graveyard and hide and seek, until baby's brother Hunter hit me in the dryer, and my mom just so happened to stop by. Knowing Wavy, she probably took the blame for it. I'm sure you guys already know this, but Wavy is, or Wavy was, and still is, a badass growing up. She was faster than all the boys, and I spent all my Saturdays, the fall of my sixth grade year, going to Wavy's football games, where she embarrassed all the boys and scored more touchdowns than anyone on her team. Wavy also did pretty much whatever she wanted, and I was just happy to tag along. If Wavy wanted to go somewhere, do something, so did I. And I'm pretty sure your mom still doesn't know about the time we took her truck out for a drive on a snow day when we were 13. <laughs> three things about Wavy. She hates cooking, so don't make her do it. She also likes pooping in the dark with the water running, so don't bother her. And always tell her she's beautiful, because she is the most beautiful bride I have ever seen. To my best friend, my soulmate, and my bonus sister, I'm so lucky that I get to stay in Wavy today. P.S. Roman did tell me earlier that he's ready to be a big brother, so get on it. Let's raise our glasses to Mr. and Mrs. Pearson. I love you guys so much. Cheers. Marriage is a union. I know, let me quiet it down a little bit. Marriage is a union. Built upon that marriage, I cannot express enough that communication will be key to the survival of both of you. There will be times where you get irritated and you learn to deal with that. There are times where one of you may go into a vehicle, turn the music up, preferably classic rock, <laughs> but you scream it out and you learn to love each other. There will be times where you are raising children and you think, what am I doing? There are no warranties, there are no guarantees. Am I right, parents? You can't return them. You never have been able to. So to the two of you, you have our love. Tyler, welcome to the family. You've got one heck of a family you just gained. I mean, I think that was obvious when you saw the whole Irie side in there. And Rowan, buddy, you couldn't ask for better parents, and I know you can't ask for a better Nana. So, keep the communication strong. Learn to deal with the bad times. Enjoy the good times. And grow old. Even if that means a little hair dye or comb over. You have our love. Congratulations. Toasting to y'all.